We are taking a little walk down to the tin can today, and I wanted to talk about some of the background stuff. And some of the things I'm going to go over are things over the past uh, year from our experience, little hiccups that we've had along the way. I'm also using a brand new camera. Um, I wanted to see if it would not make the tin can all um, the metallic on it. Um, I, if you've seen in my past videos, they're kind of a make you feel like you're going <laughs> crazy. They're like uh, moving. So we're going to use a new camera and see if this helps. All right, we're taking a walk. We've got Winky and Dora going with us. So we're going to get down to the tin can and I'll, I'll share some of the background stuff. All righty, we're here and I am hoping as I'm filming, I don't know how this metal will show up on the camera. Um, I'm hoping that it, it won't be moving as it has in the past videos. Why do we have the door covered? <laughs> that is the first thing I want to talk about behind the scenes, things that happen, things that you have to do. But my husband came out here to work and all of a sudden there was a bird that decided to make her nest way up in the top. And so he had to seal it off. So unfortunately, she won't be able to, for her, unfortunately for her, she won't be able to come back in. So everything is sealed off. He has to make sure the doors are closed. He was going to put the original door in and decided he wasn't ready to do that just yet. One of the biggest things you do when you're planning or creating something or building is you've got a lot of background stuff as far as planning. And we did not do it traditionally where we had somebody come out and draw up plans and all of that. We built a house together. We did it that way. And we just decided that this time we want to just plan as we go because we've never done this before. And it's in a circle and it's just a whole different thing. <laughs> so we're just taking it one step at a time. As you can see in the videos, that's exactly where we're at as we're planning, as we're putting Putting it together that's where our most of our thinking is I mean we, we think of things ahead like we're gonna go ahead and put an addition on I'm gonna show you a picture of where that will go you can see in the back here where there's a door this is where the addition is gonna go that's a window okay. let me come around I got I got two dogs on my little leash here so see where the blue door is that's gonna come out into a great big all the way up here to the posts uh, kitchen area so the mechanical room will be in here uh, storage uh, maybe some cleaning supplies like a, a closet like that and then there's going to be a big long table where the family can gather and eat and then a kitchen Not, the kitchen cabinets won't be huge but the room will be huge it's going to be 30 feet across and then 30 feet in length now the 30 feet across, only 20 of it goes in the kitchen, and then right up in here on the side that we're on, there's going to be a 10 foot porch, uh, concrete, which will be 30 feet long, um, so they can sit outside. So those are plans. Um, do we have them drawn up? No. Does, does he know what he wants it to look like? Absolutely. So like I said, a lot of the planning, <laughs> believe it or not, is done on napkins. And I can show you a couple here that are sitting right by his desk. He sits here at night and he plans. He does a lot of, he also does a lot of planning as far as supplies. We do buy our supplies from Menards and we have a Home Depot and a Lowe's. Everything's about an hour away from us. So we have to, you know, plan out our trips. But he also goes on Facebook a lot and Marketplace and looks for materials. There's a lot of people who build, who are in construction and business, they'll buy supplies and then they have too many and then they'll sell. Or even individual homeowners will buy things for a project and then decide, oh, I overbought and I want to sell it. So if you go on to Facebook Marketplace there's a lot of good deals that you can find so definitely check that out we've gotten lots of wood that way everything's stored right now we've got our windows for the addition that way and then there's times you can't find anything so you have to pay top dollar one of those items my husband found were cedar posts and you're like what are you gonna do with those I still am, am, I still can't envision it yet but he's very creative so I'm trusting him <laughs> and his decision he wants to uh, cut these, uh, use them for the posts on the front, <clears throat> on the porch, and then use it for trim. So we do have sawmills around us, abundantly <laughs> sawmills from the Amish. So that's not going to be a problem when he wants to cut them down and use them for trimming on the inside. So here you see it. They're sitting here. We've, we bought them a while ago, and grass is growing around the trailer, but they will be used. Just this week, this trailer here was full of metal. That took an entire day to get that to the scrap yard and get it out of here. Of course, as we walk around the yard, I'm like, oh, there's another piece, but we'll go again 
But again, big jobs, things like that, that interrupt your building and interrupt what you want to do, but it has to be done. One big, big hiccup that we had this past spring, as you can see in, I'm gonna, okay, as you can see right now behind me, everything is really green and it's beautiful and it's lush. You, what do you see? We had tornado winds come through. We had three big trees that were uprooted. You can see it in the video. And it was devastating. We couldn't work out here. My husband said it sounded like the roof of the grain bin was uh, like fluttering. It was so loud in there and echoing and, you know, reverberating around. But it was really bad. We probably had about a week of this. Uh, rains and trees down. Um, we, so we spent a lot of time getting them out of the driveway and, you know, clearing as much as we could. Now you can't see anything. I mean, now you wouldn't even know we have any trees down. It's very green and beautiful, but when fall comes, you'll get to see the trees again. Now, the good thing about that is we do have a wood-burning fireplace, and we can cut that and use the good pieces, the trash pieces. I have little campfires for, you know, when the grandkids come. I had to share one more thing that we've picked up. Um, well, we haven't picked it up yet, but we bought. We have an Amish neighbor that has a, a feed mill and actually I have a video about the feed mill for my other channel. I have a channel called My Amish Neighbors and I just like to share um, how beautiful my the country living is and, and how wonderful it is to live next to my Amish neighbors. But anyway, we he had two silos for sale. He had bought them and they were too small and they're bent up. So my husband bought one of them and his plan is to turn use the pieces I believe in the bathroom of the grain bin. So he's really excited that he got those metal pieces and he's gonna reuse them um, in the grain bin. Um, one of these two, you can also use them to make like outside gazebos and things like that. So again, his his idea might change, but right now that I that's what I hear him talking about. Um, believe it or not, this project has gotten my husband to go onto Pinterest. <laughs> so he's he just finds ideas and, and you know, that he wants to implement into the grain bin. So basically, that is what's going on behind the scenes.